Um, and the next question is, um, who do you believe Satoshi Nakamoto is? Well, what I, I just think it's a, an English person with a academic background with experience in C++ and maybe a professor. When you time and when you look at the time analysis, so spelling analysis gets you to the UK, time analysis gets you to the UK. Um, day job as well is the most advanced research that I've seen. But since he apparently has never spent any coins and I mean, it's not just apparent, he ain't spent no coins uh, or you would have seen the price crash. Uh, he's probably dead, so it probably doesn't matter that much. You would be concerned with the operational security that he used to protect the keys in case, uh, you know, maybe, maybe his encryption on his laptop wasn't as good as he thought he was, and, you know, maybe some evil actor or his kid gets the keys or something. It would be nice to see the keys destroyed or know that we've got a death certificate or something, but we'll just deal with what we've got. What we've yeah. got is what we've got. Yeah, pretty much oh, it is good. what it is, right? Good, an good answer. Yeah. yeah, John McAfee, by the way, says that he's alive and McAfee knows him. And, and, and if he wanted to go to dinner with him, he wouldn't, he said, either. He said, the guy asked me to go to dinner, I'm not going to go with anybody, I know he's alive. All right. <laughs> that was the most unique answer we got. That was different, got. yeah. That um, was definitely different. I can and tell he, you he's a Martian if it triggers your guys' happy muscles more. Uh, I, that dude's dead, man. Humans that are alive spend their resources, period. That's All right. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And that's the, the one reason why I, I sort of believe that, too, is, um, you know, there's just too much money out there for him not to have spent any of it. Yeah. No. Let me ask you, you think he saw $20,000 Bitcoin when he was creating this? Yeah. Yep. OK. I mean, that's that was the whole design is to create a viable alternative to the main financial network, which would have a positive feedback loop. Um, causing it to appreciate and gain enough economic uh, size and liquidity to compete globally. Yeah, I mean, that's been the whole game since people have been wearing the hats and hodling and, you know, uh, that's been the goal. So, yeah, you don't reach that or attain that unless the price goes really high. So it's been, it's been in the works. I mean, there's a reason that the Bitcoin is divisible to 200 million or however many decimal points it is, and it's because we anticipate this to go very high. Wow, wow, unbelievable. 